Welcome everyone, this is Bobby Tech now from Bobby Tech World and today I'm going to show you how to get this little guy inside of here and what happens on your screen now that Marshmallow is installed and it allows you to use this as an internal memory for this. Since it only has 16 gigs and pretty much, let's go on back to memory, no, so, uh, storage and USB. We only have 11.95 gigs available, okay? We've used five, but see, we're, we're pretty much halfway there. So, and I only put a few games on here. So we need to get more, more memory in this sucker. So what I'm going to do is show you. The, it's just a little odd. Alright, so, down below here, if you could see it well enough, there's this little slot here. You may need to use um, a good fingernail or a knife, you know, but being careful, you kind of have to dig in this little open slot right here. There, got it. Sometimes you just got to get your nail up in there and put a little bit behind it. So, s carefully slide it aside, okay? Don't rip on it too hard or you're going to break the thing off. Now, here's your card. You want to go face down like this. Let's go on and take a second to kind of get it in there just right. Alright, I'm showing you this day because I'm sitting here wondering which direction does it go and I don't want to slam it in there. And maybe get it stuck or break something because it actually clicks once it get once you get it in there. So there, got it. You can kind of feel a click in there, okay? Or at least slide up in there. So now I need something to kind of push down so it can click. There you go. Now that it's clicked in there. Whew. Man, sorry about the delay on that one. Okay. So back to this. Alright. Oh, there we go. So here's what you have here. It says scan SD card. All right, the new. So let's go ahead and set it up. Here we go. Right there. It's going to ask us use it as a portable storage or as an internal. Now, when you use it as an internal, it's going to format in its own way. So if you pull that card out and stick it in the computer or something, it's just really not going to work that well. Okay. So it probably won't even do anything unless you have to format. So the way you want to transfer information off of it is probably to connect the micro USB and to you know to a computer and then move your information over. But I want this 32 SD card on here, so I'm going to use as an internal storage. And then it says format. It's going to format. I mean, I got a bunch of stuff on there, but I don't really need it at the moment. So erase and format by all means. Erase and format. So there you go. And uh. That's pretty much what's going to go on here. Don't remove it while it's formatting. I probably wouldn't do anything else on it while this is happening or even jar it or move it around. Just leave it it's nice and steady. I wouldn't even look away from this video right now. Alright. Probably had to fast forward that just a little bit, okay, because it took some time. So... All right, move data to new storage because you now move your photos, files, apps, blah, blah, blah. Okay, sure, why not? It says the move takes about four minutes and it'll free up, uh, you know, a little less than two and a half gigs of internal. Some apps won't work while it's underway. It's fine, whatever. So move now. All right, and then it says don't remove the card. Some apps won't work correctly. Keep the device charged. Hmm. Well... One good thing is I got it pretty full on the charge there, so hopefully this will be okay. But definitely we'll come right back as soon as all this is done. Here we go. It did take about five minutes or so. Kind of lengthy, but it went through and did its job. So it says your device is ready to move photos, files, and apps. The device go to settings and storage um, to move stuff. So you know what? Done. So let's go and check out what our storage and USB is all about. Sweet. So our internal and our scan disk. So let's see what ES File Explorer has to say about this. Okay. Hmm. SD card is not found. Let's go ahead and restart the tablet and see if that does anything. It appears it's all restarted now. So let's see if we can get this to work. I do, all I do is restart it. Nothing special. Oh snap. 
SD card. Look at that. Only 2.4 gigs out of, well, calls it the SD card, but it doesn't call it external SD, so isn't that pretty cool? There's your device, and there's your, excuse me, let's clear all that out. All right, your storage right there. All right, so according to it, I would think it's a lot different than, let's say, okay, let's look at my Nexus tablet, okay? Well, that's not going to do you much good because, well, it should just might. Let's quickly take a peek at this sucker because it should say the same thing. All right. Yep, SD card. All right, and this is a 32 gig. This is now a 32 gig, pretty much. Let's back it up a step. Where are we at here? Yeah. So 29. Yeah. That's about it's about right. Um, so I don't know. It's pretty cool. It's a new feature, I believe, and I'm just gonna work with it. But as far as I can tell, you can now install stuff directly to your SD card as if it was the internal. So more to come on that. Please play around with it. It's pretty neat. Something cool to look into, and also expand the storage on this sucker as far as uh, installing apps and all kinds of cool things. So. Thank you all for watching. Thank you for being patient with me. I'm Bobby Techno from Bobby's Tech World, and I'm pulling chalks.